Hello everybody. Uh, we are working today on compound inequalities and uh, we're going to try to graph it. How do we graph it? How do we solve the compound inequalities? So let's start with it. Uh, the compound inequalities joined by the words and or and in or. So it's joined by and and or uh, are called compound inequalities. For example, I have x plus 5 less than 7 and x greater than 4. The next one, if I have, this is what I'm talking about and. And then we have 3x greater equals 6 or negative x plus 9 less than 8. So the solution set of the compound inequality um, formed by and is the intersection and uh, the, solu uh, the solution set of the compound inequality formed by or is union. So we use different signs for and that's intersection, it's going to go like this, upside down U. And for R, it's going to go just U, like a regular U. And I'll show you what I mean by all of that. So let's talk about the uh, intersection first. Uh, for the intersection, the diagram is going to look like this. For example, I have this oval thing, and I have another one like this. This is set A, and that's set B. Now, when they said and between the inequalities, then it means they are talking about the intersection, and they are only talking about this area. That's intersection, whatever numbers are common between them. So that's the area of intersection. Now, if I'm talking about U union, which means I'm talking about the numbers for A and B together. You're not going to repeat it, but you put them together. So that's union. You can put them together. Now, let's solve an example for this. For example, A is equal, and this is where we our builder notations are, set notations are, at the set of all x such that x is an odd number is an odd number greater than zero but less than but less than nine. Now this is my set A. My set B is equal brackets or parentheses 4 5 6 7 and 8 close so the question is asking find a intersection to b so intersection means whatever is common between them so i i have to figure it out what a is and then i'm going to write it down a is equal because you know these are all L, um, just that uh, description like it's describing it like it's in English words but I have to write down in word, uh, numbers odd number greater than zero so one is odd number which is greater than zero three is odd number greater than zero five is odd number greater than zero seven is greater than zero nine no we're not including nine because they said less than nine so I will stop right here. That's A. And the B is already right there. So find which one is common, which one is intersection means which ones are common between these two. So if you check, I don't have four and one. We don't have three and threes. We have five right there. And then we have a common seven. That's all we have. So I'm going to do A intersection B is equal the set of 5 and 7. That's what inter 
that's what intersection means. Okay, let's try uh, another example, and in this example, we're gonna graph it. Okay, so example again, I have x plus 4 greater than 0, and I have 4x greater than 0. So we have to solve inequality, both of them separately. So 4 and 0 are like terms, so subtract 4 both sides, cancel, cancel, then I got x greater than negative 4. That one is uh, actually, uh, you divide 4 both sides, because I have to act, get the x by itself, Great, and I'm dividing by a positive number, so I don't have to switch inequality sign, and it's going to give me 0. 0 over 4 means 0. So these are the two inequality solutions that I have, and I'm going to graph both of them. Okay, let's graph first. Um, let's graph that one. They said greater than negative four. So I'm gonna just write here, that's a zero. One, two, three, four, five. And this is one, two, three, four. So this is negative four. And the rest of the numbers are right there. That's one, two, three, four, five. This is negative one, negative two, and negative three. Now, uh, it's open circle on negative four. So I'm gonna make it open circle on negative four. This is negative four, and I'm gonna make it open circle. Now it's read the from the variables are x greater. Greater is gonna go to the right. There you go. So that's my graph for that one. Let's try the graph for this one. Uh, and it says greater than zero, so I would assume that's zero. One, two, three, four, and five. And it's an open circle on zero, so that's open circle on zero. And it says they said greater, it's going to go to the right. Okay, now the question is asking and, so which portion is uh, that I have for both of them that uh, has the same numbers? So since this is starting with zero and you guys can see this, this is zero too, so everything included here, positives, and this one is also positive. So that's what my common or intersection is for both of the, uh, for both of these inequalities. So I'm gonna draw x negative 4 and x greater than 0 and I'm going to draw their intersection graph and I'm going to have, since we know the common numbers are 0 to so on and this one is also 0 to so on, negative numbers are not there in this one so I can't say those are the common ones. So I'm going to start with for example, 0, that's negative 1, that's negative 2, that's negative 3, negative 4. That one is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. So, since they are talking about negative, and it's open circle, both of them, so I'm going to make an open circle uh, on... Uh, Okay, open circle from zero because that these are all the numbers that is included and I'm gonna go all the way to somewhere, wherever it goes. So that's the intersection one because if you guys pay attention here, it starts with negative four and going in and all the numbers including these negatives and these positive included in this one, in the, that graph. In here, I start, I'm starting with zero and I only have positive numbers. So the positive and positive numbers are the only ones that are intersections. Okay, so let's erase some of the work and then we can do probably one more question or maybe we talk about union this time. So I'm going to erase all of that. The solution, uh, okay, let's talk about union. The solution set of a compound inequality formed by the word 
or means union. So we use a symbol like I said. So we use a symbol like the U. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and I already gave you a shape right there, like a diagram, that E and B are both included. So let's find an example for the union. I have A, a set of A means all, the set of all X, such that X is an odd number. greater than zero zero and but less than nine close uh, B set has four five six seven eight and the question is asking find a union B okay so let's figure it out a first and then we decide about the all the points that is included union means like together so you are putting all of them together as long as you don't repeat the numbers okay odd numbers greater than zero so odd numbers greater than zero is one uh, three five seven and less than nine eight so I stop now, union means I have to put all of them together, like A union B. So, it's going to give me 1, I'm going to go in order, 1, 3, 4, and I'm going to cross out the numbers that I'm doing. Then I have 5, do you see I have 5 and 5, like an intersection thing, but I'm not including both 5's, it's just 1 5 is okay. Then I have 6. Then I have 7 and then I have an 8. I'm not repeating 7 either. So the set, this set is the union. Okay, so let's uh, do one more example. And that's the last one. <clears throat> I have negative 2x minus 6 less than negative 2 or 8x less than 0 okay now let's solve this problem first we cannot graph them unless we solve it so combine like terms because no fractions no uh, parentheses there so I'm just gonna go straight for like terms so they cancel cancel so I got negative 2x less than uh, plus 6 and negative 2 will give me positive 4 and I'm dividing negative 2 this time do you see I'm dividing negative number and it means the inequality sign the inequality sign has to the inequality sign has to switch like switch like that and I my answer is negative 2 uh, let's solve that one you divide 8 both sides and it's going to give me x and it's i'm dividing by positive so i don't have to switch the inequality sign to zero so that's my one and that's my another solution i'm going to graph both of them and then we'll decide so for example i have this one this is negative two so i'm going to go negative two uh, that's zero that's negative one and that's negative two this is one two three four five six one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm doing it for that one. That's negative two in open circle. So I'm gonna go negative two and I'm gonna make open circle there. In the read from the variable side, x greater than negative two. Greater means I'm going to the right. So this is gonna go to the right. Let's graph that one. I have straight line it's not a straight line but that's okay and I'm gonna write 0 here that's 1 that's 2 and that's negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 so let's uh, read from the variable side and it's open circle actually 
on zero right there and where do I go read x less than zero less goes to the left so that's a left and I'm going to the left okay now let's find out the union so union graph so I'm going to have x greater than negative 2 or x less than 0, and I'm going to graph that. OK, that's 0, that's 1, that's 2, that's 3. That's negative 1, that's negative 2, and that's negative 3. OK, now negative 2 greater. So that's a 2, and it's open circle, actually. So I'm going to go open circle negative 2. And I have open circle on 0, right there. See that? Now I'm going like... Um, I think all the numbers are included in here. So if I start... Like if you guys pay attention, I shouldn't be drawing and circling this. Okay, if you guys pay attention here, I'm starting from zero, all the negative numbers, and I'm starting from negative two in all the positive numbers. So this whole number line is actually my, uh, this number line, the whole number line is my union because all these numbers are included everything greater than negative 2 and everything less than 0 they are included there okay guys i think that's the that was the last question if you guys have any question please comment um below and i will try my best to answer it i can make a video for you guys whatever uh whatever objective you need help with in math uh, please subscribe and like my video i would appreciate that and see you again bye